Greetings. May you return. Hello. I'd like to join you, if you want to join us. Satyr as the I hope. I'd like to become a magician. We cannot afford. We will not even consider. May I pass? I'm looking for better armor. Since you want I need I doubt that's ever likely to change again. Things would have gone very differently. I doubt that's ever likely to change. Better not go rushing into anything. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. But keep it to yourself. People don't need to know it. There was a time. That wasn't very clever. Very different. There must be something about that story after all. Let's talk about something else instead. You shouldn't believe everything. Else. Let's talk about something else instead. It was obvious they were in trouble. Let's talk about something else instead. I have somebody in your I better keep out of it. If Let's you talk think about something else instead. There was a time when things would have gone very differently. Well, hang on. Better not go rushing into anything. It there was must be something about that control. story after all. There must be well, hang on. Better not. There was a time when I led a very different life. I was one of the best generals of this country. I've spent my whole life fighting for my country, but the nobles didn't like me. 
because the king listened to my advice. I hadn't counted on their insidiousness. They used the king's wife to get me. I was blamed for her pointless murder. King, the services I had rendered my country saved me from the gallows, but they robbed me of my freedom. One day I'll be free again, then I shall return and take revenge. I shall have my revenge. I need better armor. You'll first have to earn your armor. Give me the heavy armor. This armor is the best piece you'll ever get inside the barrier. They... they are all dead, all dead! I couldn't help them, I was... Calm down, Milton. What happened? They killed the magicians of fire. All of them, apart from me. You'd better tell me the whole story from the beginning. One thing after the other. Okay, keep cool, Milton. It all started with the old mine caving in. The old mine caved in? Yes. It all happened very fast. The guards blocked the entrance to the mine. I met Gorn. Really? By the old ruined monastery by the sea. I'm sure he'll tell me all about it when we meet again. How could the mine cave in? I have no idea. Some of the diggers who were waiting in front of the entrance said something about a massive earthquake. Were you there? Yes. That's where I learned about the cave-in. What was that you said about the magicians of fire? 
I only know that they were killed by the ore baron shortly after the mine caved in. When I returned from our adventure under the Ring of Stone, the guards at the gate suddenly attacked me. They shouted words like traitor and collaborator at me. Why would the ore barons want to kill the magicians? That's right. The guards just didn't give me any opportunity to ask. Perhaps Diego knows more. You should hide. Far away from here. No. Diego and I agreed to keep an eye on the two gates and to warn our unsuspecting friends from the other camps. Please talk to Diego. Where can I find Diego? He's hiding on the other side of the old camp. Please talk. See you later. Look at that. It's a so what? Your mind's gonna be ours soon. Yeah, we'll dream on. Sorry. Hang on, I don't want- You should have thought of that. Hey, what the- Go, boy! Now you're done for. Now I'll you're take done. you apart. It's <laughs> your turn now. No mercy. Hello, Diego. Okay, but did you also hear about the planned raid on the free mine? How could the old mine cave in? One of the diggers who survived it told us that they were digging, and they hit an underground river on the bottom level. When the water gushed into the mine, one of the supports broke, and the entire upper section collapsed. Only a handful of people managed to escape from the mine. Why are the fire mages dead? That's a long story. Just tell me about it. It's not the first long story I've had to listen to. Well then, luckily I Gomez was hopping mad when he heard about the accident, and he was afraid that his position could be at stake. Of course, who controls the ore controls the colony as well. That's right. Since he has no source of income anymore, the goods from the outside world won't come in anymore either. Nobody will work for him if he doesn't get another source of income soon. And that's the reason for the raid on the free mine? To be honest, that's Gomez's only chance to maintain his power. Two hours ago, two dozen guards set out for the free mine. But what happened to the fire mages? Cristo and the other mages were the only people in the camp to remain rational. They forbade the raid and demanded a settlement with the two other camps. They forbade Gomez to raid the free mine? Well, yes. Caristo and the others shouldn't have been so self-confident. What are you and Milton going to do now? We'll stay here for a while to warn some more friends, so but you could do us a favor. Consider it done. Tell me what you want. 
Look out for Lester and Gorn. Tell them that the four of us will meet at the same place as always. If I see them before you do... Thanks, my friend. You really seem to be an all right guy. That's mad. Then you must hurry up. But they never get through the fortifications of the new camp. They don't need to get through them. A few months ago, they found a path that leads over the mountains and right to the free mine. Let's go on. Had you return. Let me guess, the free mine has been assaulted by the guards from the old camp. Nobody saw them coming? Hang on. How? But of course. You found out about it in the old camp. Gorn arrived here just before you did. What could have caused Gomez to dare to take such an aggressive step? He should be aware that such a heinous act can only provoke war. The old mine collapsed after water seeped in. Collapsed? Of course. Gomez has his back to the wall. He's more dangerous than ever. Gomez has had all of the Magicians of Fire killed. Had them killed? Why in Beliar's name would he do a thing like that? They were against the attack on the Free Mine and opposed Gomez. Then we're all doomed. Without the other six Magicians, we'll never be able to control the concentrated power of the massive Ore Mound. But in spite of that, I thank you for... Nefarious said, Then I welcome you. Does that mean that I now belong to the Guild of the Magicians of Water? Not yet. I'm ready to take the oath. Now speak the words of the oath. I swear by the might of the gods. I swear by the might of the gods. And by the power of the holy water. And by the power of the holy water. That my knowledge and my deeds from now on and forever shall be one with the water. That my knowledge and my deeds from now on and forever shall be one with the water. Until my body shall return to the realm of Beliar and the source of my life shall dry out. Until my... Wear this robe as a... For the honor... Can you instruct me? There's much you need to learn. I am ready to enter the... To enter the first of the magic circles, each ruin contains this... By using your own magic powers, but in contrast to the magic scrolls, which are magic formulas as well, Every rune is a source of magic power. Your own magic power is used up when you use a rune. With every circle you enter, use the power of the... I am ready to... You have learned to understand the runes. When you join the second circle, you will learn the foundations of stronger battle spells. But you need to learn much if you want to recognize the true secrets of magic. You know that you can use every rune as often as you like, until you've used up all your own powers. But before you act, Think about the point of your actions. You have a, but a true magician understand the situation. Could you teach me? The third circle of magic is one of the most important steps in the life of a magician. You have already come far on the path of magic. This knowledge is the foundation for your further path. You may use a rune or not, but you must decide on one of these possibilities. Do not hesitate to use your powers as soon as you've made your choice. Understand your path. Then you'll recognize the power of the decision. I am ready to enter. You have completed the first three circles. The magic of the runes is based on the stone. It is the same ore which is collected in the mines. This ore is endowed with magic formulas in the temples. With the runes you control now, you have the entire knowledge of the temples of the realm at your fingertip. Understand the magic. I am ready to enter. I can't teach you anything. May you return. Hello.
I met Diego and Milton in front of the old camp. That's good news. They want to meet you and Lester. Thanks. There's nothing more valuable than good friends in troubled times like these. You're almost one of us by now. Let's fight. When you sent me to the Magicians of Fire, you mentioned there was somebody. Well, I had hoped we could make it without his help. Who is he? All right, all right. Many, many years ago. Give me the shortened version, please. Be patient. Well, when we, the Twelve Magicians, created the barrier back then, our magic powers were directed and controlled by a thirteenth magician. A thirteenth magician? Most people who did not experience the early days of the colony believe that. This thirteenth magician was our leader. All this took place before we were divided into the circles of fire and water. But he left the old camp, which was once the only camp of the colony. What is this thirteenth magician called? His name is Zardus. The ones who do just call him the Necromancer. Why did he leave the old camp? He started to investigate the invocation of undead and magical creatures. Gomez was not the only one who began to worry. What happened then? Unlike Gomez, he was no butcher, so he avoided the conflict and left. Where is this magician today? He lives in seclusion, in his tower in the middle of the Orc land. That's just about the southernmost point of the colony. I'll make my way to Zardus and ask him for help. He's the only one that can help us now. If he knows no way out or doesn't want to help us, he will. There is one other problem. A problem? Yes. Over the years, we've tried to get in touch with Zardus several times, but it looks like he prefers to remain undisturbed. What does that mean? None of the messengers ever return from his tower. You'll have to find a way to get past his creatures. Looks like this is going to be interesting. How will I get past his creatures? If I knew that, I would tell you. I'd advise you to do some research in our library. Maybe you'll find something in the old books about the strengths and weaknesses of magically invoked creatures. I'll rummage through the library. I'll be back. May you return it? For the honor of... I'm glad you've joined us. Greetings, magician. I am Riordian. You're very probably right. Show me your good. I'm injured. Through my words, I call upon the powers of healing.
For the honor... Let me pass. For the honor of rely on somebody and you're in trouble. That's how it goes. We have to watch what you tell me. Hang on. Better not go rushing into it. Maybe. Hang on. You shouldn't believe it. For the honor, your decision to choose. For the honor, obvious that there would be trouble. I want to acquire. May I pass through here?
Nobody messes with my guy! <laughs> You won't have much time to be sorry for it. Okay, okay! Nobody messes with my guys! For the honor of... I'm injured. Through my words, I call upon the power. Let's do 
people are Maybe. Maybe.
Thank you. 